Welcome back to the MBH Podcast, Money Buys Happiness, Season 5. We're here. Today we're here. And I'm excited for this one today because we have our good friend, Anthony Lamacchia, across from us. What's up, bro? Gentlemen, how you doing? My fucking brother. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> My fucking brother. I was so, honestly, man, I, w- I woke up so excited for today's episode because it just like, you're just like, you feel like family, you know? Absolutely. And I know that like with everything going on, we share a lot of the same views. So I love talking to people who are just fucking kind of right. on the same fucking team. Ernest. You know, pushing the <laughs> Dude, me and this guy, we go back since how long maybe? 15 years now? More. No, longer 20. Than that. More, 20. Dude. You're you want to let you guys in on the secret about Ernesto? No. Do it. Just no, do it, bro. We're here I was now. his camp counselor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was. But soccer, but soccer too. Yeah, soccer. yeah, whatever. But I was a camp counselor. I heard counselor. you were a beauty at Infotee, eh? Uh, he was. He was. I was pretty good, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was alright. You, you showed me a pic of you with the right. flow. Oh, yeah. buddy. <laughs> How about this flow? It's yeah. okay, bro. Now you're faster. <laughs> oh, yeah. It cuts through the wind. Dude, but we go way back. We, we do. We go way back. We do. And uh, it, it's nice to see you here uh, today. <laughs> Thank you. You know, like, uh, you're a good fucking kid, man. Thanks, you man. You grew up. Uh, when you were a kid, you were a little shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm just a big shit. <laughs> you're a big shit. <laughs> you're a big piece of shit. It's true. But yeah, we go back probably just over 20 years. Um, yeah. Close and to uh, it. it's been it's been sick. I think we reconnected like heavy, maybe four, maybe four years ago now. When four or five I uh, years opened ago. the restaurant. Yeah. So oh, six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. And ever since then, you've been flying, bro. Yeah, we've been doing really well. Some ups it, and downs, of course, but what are you going to do? Hey, listen, you, you, you couldn't be in business if there was only ups. You have to know about true. the downs before you could go up, right? True. So, so very you true. know what? I never, I never asked you this. I don't think we talked about this, but how did you end up starting in the food business? Oh, I've been doing it uh, pretty much my whole life. Okay. Uh, you know, like when I was a camp counselor during those times too, I was also working at a restaurant, uh, part-time, obviously, yeah. I was a kid. But uh, I loved it. I loved cooking at home. I loved partying. Yeah. yeah. So I figured, you know what, let's put two and two together. Boom. And then I started in the kitchen, and they had yeah. me fucking peeling fucking potatoes. <laughs> That's where you got to start, dude. <laughs> I thought That's I was going to go in there and start making risotto <laughs> and shit. Start with the up time, start going nuts. Yeah, but yeah. no, but that didn't happen, right? Yeah. So, but that was a good kick in the ass, right? Because it taught me a lot. Uh, it taught me to be humble. And, uh, and you were how, how old were you when you first started off? I was 15. Yeah. In the kitchen peeling potatoes? In the kitchen, the yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. And I've been giving her ever since. Ever since. Still I mean, peeling the potatoes. <laughs> baby, <laughs> let's go. Literally. It's, it, it's funny that we're talking about this because in high school, one of my teachers goes to me, uh, you're gonna flip burgers for the rest of your life. <laughs> Fucking bastard was right. <laughs> right on. He was spot on. I can't fucking believe. But I make a fucking but great burger. Bomb yeah. burger. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. so, to say that. so yeah. Okay. I okay. flip burgers. So so when did when did Porcello Cantina come to life? Six for years anyone ago. who doesn't know Porcello Cantina, fucking beauty restaurant, beauty Woodbridge, um, Italian food, authentic and like unique type of menu. So. Go check that fucking place out. But anyways. Thank you. How did, how did you start? Uh, yeah, so Porcello Cantina kind of fell in my lap six okay. years ago. Um, started off with one concept that was like a hot table, pizza taglio. Mm. Um, we're kind of hidden in a subdivision. So that concept kind of didn't work out. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, within about eight months, ripped out the hot table, turned it into a full-fledged bar. Oh, you actually had... A fucking hot table running in there for yeah, real. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. Yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. We had a hot table. Okay. Pizza taglio, like I said, porchetta. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you were saying that was like what you were thinking originally. No, oh, no, you no. actually. Act, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. So rip that out. Um, you know, when we started, we had uh, two bottles of wine, um, some vermouth. Yeah. Boom. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just maybe giving her. two beers. Yeah. <laughs> if that, you know, and now. Fuck, we're flying. Our bar is beautiful. You know, uh, <clears throat> we've been doing construction every single year. I change up one thing because I've been doing this myself, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, it's it it it's been a tough go. Yeah. When it comes down to it, you know, owning a restaurant is just a tough thing. Now owning a restaurant now during these days, 
fuck Good out luck. of this world. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, we still, we still progress. I want to ask, are you soul, soul, your sole owner? I am, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's even, that's even harder, well, you bro. Do, like, and, you, and, let's talk about your role, too, there, like at Porcello. Well, like, what do you do that's there? That's why I'm asking if you're sole owner, because you, that means you do everything. You're top and yeah, bottom. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have a great team. Of course, yeah. So, you know, I, you know, for me to tell you that I do everything, I'd be, I'd be tooting my own horn and, and, yeah. and, and, and just yeah. lying to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely put my hands in everything. Yeah. You know, I'm, at least I'm, oversee I'm there. it all. I'm, yeah, I'm there seven days a week. Yeah. You know, and we're only open three days, mm -hmm. but I'm still there. Uh, you know, I got to deal with the paperwork. I got to deal with the back end stuff, yeah. which I fucking suck at, yeah. you know, because <laughs> it, 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 I'd like, I'd rather be hands on, like yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, uh, I got to grow up and I got to know that, you know, if my business needs to grow and, and be the best that it can be, then fucking I got to do these things, right? Yeah. And, you know, my <clears throat> team helps me, obviously, but there's some things that they just, can't, can't do. So it, like it's like you guys. Yeah, you you guys know, right? You guys have a team, of course. But you guys are the face, and you guys do what you guys have to do to make sure that your team and you are successful. Of and course. eat. Everyone eats. Everybody <clears throat> eats, right? Literally, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No yeah. pun intended. But even okay, you even said it. Like, and everyone knows this. Going into the restaurant industry is hard, right? It's <clears throat> it's one of the hardest businesses. I mean, we went we went for a test drive. We went for a little run, a little run in the it. pandemic, right? And, and it's and we tough, got right? Fucked, bro. So, yeah. so knowing first... that, knowing that, what me, what kind of like kept you motivated to say, you know what? I know this is one of the hardest industries. I'm sure you had people telling you <clears> at the time too, like, hey, this is gonna be tough, whatever. How, what what made you want to go in? Testadura, that's what it was. Yeah, man, come yeah. press. That's it. It's the hard head. Yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna do it, and that's it. Yeah. You no, know? you know, just gonna put my feet in there, yeah. and just gonna fucking give her. Literally, just give yeah. everything. Yeah. Like, you guys, to own a restaurant, and 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 you're in the position financially that I was in. You don't have the luxury of hanging back and just delegating. Yeah, yeah. You got to be in there, and you got to be able to do everything possible to make sure that the day goes smooth, the yeah. week goes smooth, the month yeah. goes smooth, the year goes smooth. Yeah. You got to make sure everything that you see that runs through your hands are the best possible quality products, <clears throat> service that you could give anybody. I'm not naive to the fact that I could never make 100% of people happy. None of, of us course, can. Of course, it's of course, fucking of course, absolutely impossible. impossible. Yeah. But we could definitely strive to give 100% every single time yeah and that's what we do and 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 i'm okay with that you know Dude, like, the, re the reason the reason i commend you and i think a lot of people commend you as well is because like the, okay like for example we know a lot of uh restaurant owners uh or you know hospitality um entrepreneurs in the downtown core let's say and there's not one restaurant down here that operates from one person. There's always like five investors, yeah, and all of them play like a big role. Whether that's like one person doing the back end stuff and the accounting and the numbers, this guy's focusing on just the food and the menu. This guy's focusing on the experience, the the atmosphere. Like, so the fact that you do all of that on your own. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, and I think it's because, like, even the culture too at Porcello, you can tell it's all coming from you. Yes, you know what well, I mean. Yeah. As that, so, so yeah. you can tell everyone. Like, I grew up in Toronto. Yeah. yeah, right. And I own a restaurant in Woodbridge. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, which is a developing city. Yep. So, you know, it was when I was growing up in high school. To come up to fucking Highway Seven <laughs> was like, bro, where are you going? Oh, we might as well go to Wasing, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. But like, you know, and that's driving to Colossus. I know. You know, back in the day, <laughs> like, miss, we used to, miss, like, like we used to hang out in the parking lot at Rona when Rona was over there. <laughs> that's wow. Highway Seven. That's like, crazy. fuck, I just outdated myself. Yeah. But like, yeah. whatever. But right? it grew like, quickly. Yeah. But yeah, whole area like, grew very and, quickly. And, and, and it grew right. Yeah. So, you know, um, typical. White cloth service restaurants were only in Woodbridge. Yeah, true. I fucking show up, <laughs> and I got no tablecloths on my tables. Yeah. You know, I got rustic wood yeah. everywhere. Yeah. They're like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Right? And little by little, they started to figure out that you could come to my place and be yourself. Mm. And then my staff started coming in, and I built a family. I didn't build a staff. 
So it was it, 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 it's a completely when you walk through my doors, like you don't feel like you're walking into a place that they're gonna forget your name. True. You know, you, like True. you're gonna come. Obviously, you know, if you come like one time, you know, like we're human beings, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you become a regular over there, like yeah. you become part of the family. Yeah. And and we legitimately love you. Yeah. Not because you're spending money. Yeah. But because you can hang with us. Yeah. And if you can hang with us, you're welcome anytime because we don't break anybody's balls. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's balls. Mm -hmm. We accept everybody. We love everybody. Yeah. We're yeah. human fucking beings. We all have a purpose. And if your purpose that one time is to walk through my door and I could give you an experience that you're going to absolutely fucking love and you're going to go and you're going to tell one, two, three, four, five people about it, mm -hmm. then I did my job. Well, you were saying you have the thing where you go to each table, drink service, right? And go talk to them. Yeah, I go to every single table. Like... I go to every single table um, when I'm done cooking. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, yeah. you know, like if you're coming between like five and nine o'clock, you know, I'm probably not going to be able to hit any of those tables. Yeah. But if you're in the later seating and you're after nine o'clock, I'm definitely going to every single table. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely introducing myself. Yeah. And I'm asking you how your night was mm -hmm. because I want to know. Yeah. I, I, I legitimately want to know because if you don't tell me how your night was, we're never going to get better. True. Yeah, it's true. We're never. Yeah. I need that constructive criticisms. Yeah. I need it. Mm -hmm. Or else, like I said, we're never going to get better. We're never going to come into our true skin. And let's face it, you, you, you guys know, can't get comfortable. Yeah. You can't think that you're the best. Yeah. You Very can't, true. You, like, like, you can't. You have, you, you can't think that you know everything. Because the second that you think that you know everything, you, you fucking don't know anything. Yeah, you yeah. lost. And you, you lost. lost. Yeah, it's true. You lost, you lost big yeah. time. And Very you become true. a fucking sour human being. I seen <laughs> a bunch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Um, I see, okay. I seen a lot. I seen a lot. Now, obviously, um, being in the hospitality industry, very affected during the pandemic. When it pandemic. hits, what happens? Um, what happens in your mind? <clears throat> and what are you thinking to do to adapt and, and what steps do you take? <sighs> Fuck, I guess, I guess right now I'm an expert at this, <laughs> well, 100%. At this topic. 100%. <laughs> you know, when it comes down to it, uh, I don't have any funny science tables or anything like that. But, you know, I could tell you that, you know, it, it's, it's a fucking real, real eye opener of what life really could be like. And, you know, the, the, the hard work that it actually takes to be successful, mm -hmm. you know, cause I could have easily, when it first happened, I could have shut my fucking doors yeah. and said, you know what? I don't want to deal with it anymore. Mm -hmm. I was basically five years in at that point. Um, I didn't even hit five years yet, but you know, they say that, that hump for restaurants yeah. three to five years, right? We were fucking real busy, man. We built a great reputation. I was just at the cusp to fucking, you know, really finally yeah. see the restaurant going into, you know, profitable numbers. Yeah. Yeah. It took five years. That's what it yeah. takes sometimes. Legit. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. I would make 20, 30 grand. I'd sink that right, right back, back into in. the yeah. restaurant yeah. because I had to. Now I had you to have change no it choice. up. You have no choice. Right? Like yeah. the building before us, it was a bakery. Mm-hmm terrible layout yeah it had a very small kitchen mm -hmm. so i had to rebuild the kitchen Jeez. i had to do that i had to yeah. buy more equipment when i first started i was making pizzas in a fucking pizza warmer that Come was my on. pizza oven dude a pizza used to take me seven to nine minutes to make before oh my god now it takes us three yeah there you go like you know Ooh. what i mean yeah, yeah. and i could only make two at a time yeah now i could make 12. wow right so like the the this really humbled me. I was already yeah. a, a very humble person, yeah. but but this situation in the last what is it twenty months? Mm -hmm. I don't you know. You know whatever it is. I it, it, on, it, yeah. it it really taught me a lot about myself. Um, it taught me a lot about other people. Um, That's the key one right it, there. It, it it taught me a lot about business because business completely changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it made me a real humble person. I listen. I didn't when when they fucking said stay in your house, lock yourselves inside your fucking doors. Don't even look outside. You know, don't look out. Don't open a window. We're all gonna fucking die. Every single one of us. 
You know what I did? I opened my fucking door. I opened my windows. Yeah. I went outside. Yeah. I fucking worked out. I didn't eat fucking McDonald's. During this pandemic, I lost 130 pounds. Jeez. Yeah, that's okay. crazy. Yeah, and these that's guys crazy, are going to fucking tell me yeah, about yeah. fucking <laughs> health. Yeah. yeah, that's wild. No fucking way. Yeah. No yeah. way. I grinded to get to where I am today in my life. And if these fucking people think that I'm going to stop my life and the way that I operate... They yeah, fucking not, uh, really yeah. don't understand, yeah, true. you know, what it really means to work. And I got no problem with people being lazy. Just don't fucking bother me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't bother yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bother me. You do you. You I'll do, do you. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I don't. My, my little corner that I have at fucking Western Road in Rutherford doesn't affect anybody. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't affect anybody's pocket. Doesn't yeah. affect anybody's mind. You don't like what I say on Instagram? unfollow me yeah don't watch me okay i want to ask about that i want to ask about that obviously in the last 20 months you've been very vocal um through instagram through the porcello page whatever i think it's amazing uh and we've obviously seen on the back end the, the growth because of it um people buy into you they buy into your brand and whatnot but what i wanted to ask you was when like when and why did you decide to like hop on there and start being so vocal about this? So, first off, I'm gonna correct you with something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Please. I don't do. think I don't think anybody's bought into what I have to say. I think people just believe in what I have to say because it comes from the heart. True. And and it's not bullshit. Yeah. There's yeah. there when it comes to me, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. either gonna say it or I'm not gonna say it. There's no in between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No sugar coating. There's yeah. no sugar coating. Yeah. I'm yeah. either going to say it rough like a trucker or, <laughs> or yeah. I'm just going to shut my fucking mouth. Yeah. yeah. So you were going, right? like, you were going yeah. back and forth between yeah. those two things. I'm not yeah. going to caretza you and say, oh, <laughs> bello. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to yeah. tell you you fucked up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't like it, then I'm not the person for you. Yeah. 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 You know, True. then no problem. Yeah. I, like, I, like, I don't mind that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. I think you were changing people's minds as well on the topic. Listen, whether, I don't think that was your goal. I don't yeah, think that was your whether, goal. But I'm whether, just saying. whether I was or not, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, we're all fucking adults. We yeah, can yeah. all make, make our, our own decision. Yeah. I don't need to watch a show, news, an Instagram story to make up my mind on something. Yeah. It's not or a someone, fucking infomercial. Or someone. Yeah, or someone yeah. Like, I'm not trying to make an infomercial here and it's a, buy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hold on a second. <laughs> but wait, there's you more. Know, there's yeah. more. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, yeah. Okay. You know, okay so, then, so, then, so, then, so then, what made you go out there and say, "Hey, like this is my opinion on what's happening. Here it is." Type of Every thing. Every single person and their mothers were fucking giving out an opinion. Yeah. And I just couldn't stand the fa <laughs> fact that these people were saying the things that they were doing, and I wasn't hearing anything else. Yeah. So at the beginning, you know of the pandemic i started making videos mm. and you know i started with very positive things yeah you know like guys we're gonna get through this you know i, I like i would sing i would dance i would yeah. do yeah, i would yeah, do yeah. all of that stuff yeah. right Just good vibes. i started i like like i started off with videos that i was sort of uh um I don't even fucking remember exactly, but it was something like, uh, how's it going, Instagram? Anthony here, Porcello Cantina, COVID-19, day number. And then I'd fucking stop and I'd say like, 25,907, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah, I would yeah. just make fun of yeah, that, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And then fucking right, one restriction next restriction you know just dis dismantling and destroying this beautiful industry that people come to to enjoy themselves to let loose a little bit to be free and i don't see that yeah. walking through my doors anymore takes a fucking toll on a person yeah. especially yeah. a guy like me that i'm there all the time yeah and i got fucking paper on my windows <laughs> i'm trying to do takeout we're not a take-all restaurant. Yeah. yeah. I never have been. Mm -hmm. I never will be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried Uber. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. How am I going to give somebody a plate of pasta? Yeah, pure cold, bro. Okay. Yeah. In Woodbridge. 45 yeah. bucks. That $45 for a fucking plate of pasta yeah. Yeah. that the guy's probably picking up four or five orders. Yeah. yeah. 
That's the fifth order that he's going to bring. It's yeah. a plate of fucking yuck, he imagine. Yeah, yeah. I would never do that because I'm a little bit smarter than that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but people you know, it. a plate of fucking yuck, yeah. somebody's going to get that. And they're going to say, what the fuck is I this? I paid 45 yeah. bucks for yeah, yeah. Jello, What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to give me a chance again. Yeah. yeah. And on top of that, I got to give 30 fucking points yeah. to Uber? Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't. <laughs> yeah. They, you know, as much as they say, oh, you know, if there's a problem, you know, we'll refund you this and yeah, that. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Blah. You can't refund my reputation. Facts. It's true. Yeah. Take true. the fucking money. Yeah. And eat it. I don't yeah. care. At that yeah. point, you yeah, ruined yeah. me already. Yeah. So I stopped. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. the radius. It like it's not like downtown, right? Yeah. You're gonna or so, somebody that's smart that's ordering off of Uber in the downtown core is gonna order within like uh, super close three kilometer. Yeah. Four yeah. or five kilometer yeah. range. Yeah. In Woodbridge, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah it's true. The radius is huge. Mm -hmm. How long? How big is the radius for like you? You go into I think Maple, like, everything? You yeah, going, I think yeah. mine was like twenty-five kilometers or something like that. <laughs> yeah, not five that's kilometers a lot. downtown. That's fucked. Five, you get four or five over here, maybe <laughs> yeah. even less. What? Yeah, so many restaurants, but, so many people. But, congested. but that's what I mean. But yeah. that yeah, makes yeah. sense, right? Yeah, so yeah. for a restaurant down here, not to be doing Uber, they fuck up. Different a story. Guy like yeah. me, I don't do that much volume anyways on takeout. It made no sense for us. Yeah. As much as I tried, you know, I, I started something yeah, called yeah. P2 Pub Grub. Yeah, you know, uh, I did chicken wings, fucking hot dogs, yeah, 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 tater Barfing. tots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't fucking believe what I was pumping out of my yeah. kitchen. <laughs> I hated it. I fucking hated that's it. That's crazy. I don't mind that stuff. Yeah, but I don't like serving that stuff. Yeah, but like that's not me. But it's not you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, not you. Like, like that's not me. So like, we like you, to have fun, right? But you really tried fucking everything. Like literally you were tried. Literally, yeah. yeah, literally tried everything. That's crazy. And then and then, and, and, and then I gave up. Yeah, I, I I gave up for about six weeks. I shut down. Completely, yeah. Because yeah. I had no staff. Yeah. Um, I was working in the kitchen by myself, mm -hmm. and I just couldn't stand the fact that I was there by myself. Yeah. It, re it, re it reminded me of when I first opened. Yeah. And I didn't want to go through that again. Yeah. I didn't want to see myself in that position again, um, because I know how hard I worked and what and what. I had to endure and do to get to where I was. And I wasn't failing at this point on my own account. Mm -hmm. I was failing because I was put in the position to fail. Yeah. And there was nobody that I could turn to to say, what do I do? Mm -hmm. yeah. How do I get through this? No one had the answers. Nobody had the answers. Yeah. So everybody was on their own. Mm -hmm. And that's what they wanted you to feel. Yeah. yeah. They wanted you to feel that defeat. Yeah. I shut down for six weeks. Yeah. I got really fucking down on myself. When was this? When did you shut down for six weeks? Uh, so when did we shut down? March 20th? Yeah. March yeah. 16th? Okay. March 16th? Okay. Yeah. We were uh, ordered for the first lockdown. I think I did two, maybe three weeks yeah. of takeout. Yeah. And then I just said, yeah. Fuck that, yeah. I'm not fucking doing this. I'm all by myself. Uh, yeah. You know, it ain't fucking happening. Um, kudos to my landlord, great guy. Yeah. He fucking <laughs> he fucking really helped me out. Um, it's literally it's super important because though, of up. him. Yeah, yeah. He gave me a chance to get out of a hole. Yeah. And uh, that's why I'm still <clears throat> kicking today, really. Yeah. Because if he if he went about the situation a little bit different, yeah. Um, I don't know if I would have been able to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's straight fucked, up, yeah. right? Because I don't think I would have had it in me at that point. Um, I was, I was, I went from seven days a week, literally 18 hours a day, mm -hmm. literally having three to four functions every single week in my calendar, yeah. already booked people's fucking deposits, <clears throat> yeah. which is another fucking goddamn mess after yeah. that, <laughs> you know, yeah. which, yeah. you know, people, you know, like I understand, but like when you give a business a deposit, that deposit goes into the business right away. Yeah. You know, uh, that's why you take deposits to make the business run. Yes. So when you're coming to me and asking me for your deposit back, you're like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you know, Let me like, just sell the fridge. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. like, it's not my fault that your function is delayed, yeah. canceled, whatever it is. Yeah. I didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't me. Yeah. You want to come? Come. Yeah, you can yeah. still come. No problem. Yeah. yeah. Come. But nobody's going to do that. Yeah. So, 
you eat the deposit. Yeah, it is what it and is. And like, let's face it, like my size restaurant, it ain't that big. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You know, so like, what's a deposit? I, I think was hearing of like wedding ones that were fucked. They were like, bro, people were down like 50, 60, oh, yeah, 100%, Jeez, like crazy 100%. shit on hall. So I can only imagine. And people were worried about three, four hundred dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like that's the scale that like we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I gotta pay my fucking rent, and your party's canceled. What the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. You know, nobody's giving us a break here. Yeah, yeah. You know, like what the fuck? Yeah, okay, they give you forty grand. Big fucking deal. <laughs> yeah, We've it's... been literally fucking dismantled for the last twenty months. Yeah. What the fuck is forty grand gonna do? <laughs> that was gone wrong. in the first two weeks, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, like what the fuck? But you so, know so 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 Okay, I'll, so yeah, you wanna run it you're running it back? I wanna run it back for okay. a second. Back to you being so vocal online. Oh yeah. Was it was it was it initially like what was the reaction? Were you getting some hate? Were you getting some love? Was it a mix of both? What was it? Surprisingly, no, because I think the way that I transitioned yeah. into speaking my mind yeah. was was pretty smooth. You okay. know, and it came at a point where a lot of people were sick and fucking tired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I think it was just it was just that 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 the timing of it yeah. where I just tweaked yeah. at like a different time. Okay. Yeah. And I don't even remember when it was. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it, it just, we really don't get too much hate even now. Like we get our hate, yeah, like we get course, like yeah, Google yeah. reviews, one yeah, star yeah. about this and that. like, come on, you know, like you never even yeah. walked in my fucking place. Yeah. yeah, yeah I know you've you never know, been here. Yeah. Like, like, like you don't know what we're about. You know, why does your opinion count yeah. when you're fucking hiding behind a, a, a laptop, a, a fucking computer, a phone, iPhone, yeah. you know, whatever it is. And you think that you are fucking relevant and you're using a fake <clears throat> name or yeah. a fake account. You know, like there's one person, X, Y, Y, Z, something like that. Yeah. They make fucking comments all the time. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> oh, like, you, have like a, you have like a stalker who comes yeah. in. Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> who are you? Yeah, Uber that's reviews, bad, Instagram things. No. Too many, too many yeah, keyboard. Like, come keyboard on. Warriors. What, I, what, I, what, I, what I never understood about people who did that, especially if like they, like it was Say with your really, chest, bro. No, no, no. But like, okay. <laughs> like with a things. real name at least. No, but like, okay. If, if, you had a, if you had a weird, like actually a bad experience, that's one thing. But people who just go on there and just make shit up. Like you're fucking with someone's livelihood, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm not bothering it's you. It's too much power for someone yeah. that that's not even gonna show themselves. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like that's fucked. I don't even know who you are, what your name is. You know, call yeah. me and have a conversation with me. Yeah, you. come by, yeah. you know? You know, like like I'm I'm actually a very, very reasonable human being. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I could have a conversation with people. Yeah. I'm gonna listen to what you have to say. My mind's already made up. 100%. But I'm going to listen to you. Yeah. You know, you're not going to change my mind. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not fucking scared, so come and talk. Yeah, true. Come and talk. Just talk. Yeah. You know, like, why can't we fucking be civil? No, that's gone. Nobody knows all all that. That's gone. A guy on, like me, a, a guy like me on, on uh, social media, you know, people look at me and be like, <gasps> Where's the holy water for this yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spray like, it on him, bro. Spray like, it on him. On, yeah, I man. know, I know. Like, you know, like really, like I'm just trying to live my life. Yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, I'm yeah. trying to do. People don't want you. The to money do that, I bro. make. There's people that don't. The want you power to do that life. I have is nothing compared yeah. to the money and the power that these people that are controlling. Yeah, have society half yeah i am irrelevant to them yeah one way or another mm-hmm. i am irrelevant to them leave me alone so 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 what do you think what do you think the plan is what are these guys trying to do to us bro, bro? i got no clue all i know yeah. is that if people don't fucking wake up yeah then we're all in trouble what yeah. are three steps people can take to wake up Throw some fucking water on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself a fucking slap. Boom. Yeah. And you know what? Look in the mirror and ask questions. Yeah. If you're afraid to ask somebody a question, yeah. Honestly, it's gonna sound, you know, a little, you know, foolish of me saying this. Yeah. But practice. Practice asking a question to somebody. Gain some confidence. Yeah. yeah. Learn how to speak to somebody. Ask questions. If you're scared to ask the questions because you're scared of backlash. Or whatever, find somebody that you feel comfortable with, one person, yeah. and just 
talk to them, give them your opinion, and see their reaction. Yeah, that's a that's a good fucking point. That's man. true, man. I never, yeah, I've never, never like thought t- about it. Yeah. Like even just taking the confidence it, to, to even question, taking yeah. it like that, like making it that Bro, simple. The problem is that's, people that's don't so ask questions. Yeah. People just take orders now. You yes. know, and, 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 and it's and it's sad that people have come to that point because we live in Canada. Mm. We're supposed to be free thinkers. Yeah. yeah. And and they yeah. took that away from you. Yeah. And it's not my fault that my mind is stronger than yours. <laughs> you know, like I'm no, sorry. To them it's your fault, <laughs> like, though. It's like, your fault. Like, yeah. like, 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 like I'm going to tell you straight up, my mind is strong. Yeah, and I may not be the most educated person out there. Yeah, you know, with with schooling and BAs and MDs B- B- and PhDs and, yeah. and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this MDs, that you know yeah, whatever yeah. all of them. Double but B's. I got fucking grind, and I've yeah. dealt with a lot of different characters in my lifetime that have taught me a lot about who people are. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I'm just as fucking educated as anybody out there. Yeah. I know about current current events. Yeah. I understand. Common sense. Well, there's, yeah. there you go. There right? you go. I understand. There you go. I understand that everybody has a different opinion. Yeah. But for fuck's sakes, we live in Canada. Yeah. Okay. It's we're 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 supposed to live with each other's opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to be able to fucking walk down the street and not scoff at someone because they're wearing a mask or they're not wearing a mask. Ain't that the truth? You that, know, that's like, so true, suppo- bro. But that, that's but so it is true. The truth. That's people, the point of and, Canada is that we live in a country where everyone is allowed to have their own opinions, their own religions, their own cultures. Anti-maskers, anti-vaxxers, anti the. You know what? What about anti? Go fuck yourself. How about that? <laughs> yeah. You know, I like, like that one. Like, like yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, whoever came up, it. Okay. It's I just labels. Day, They're labels. You guys, They're what, labels. what you guys do yeah. in marketing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right now what we're seeing is the largest marketing campaign the biggest one. of all the world. time. The we, biggest we say and the this best all the time. It's the best marketing campaign of all time. Yeah. And the it's biggest and the absolutely best. genius. Genius, yeah. bro. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. But now they're fucking with people's livelihoods. But you have yeah. to remember something. When there's that much money involved, do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? There's For no sure. limit. There's no limit to how far you but can take it. But the fucked up thing is that people would have bought this if it was even... Then a then little the, bit different. Yeah, like like people would have bought it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, no, they, they bought it for made. a bit too. Though. They were buying it for a bit. No, but they would have. No, but they. No, would saying have, if it was like less pushy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You think would have bought it? Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. They would have yeah. made all kinds of money. Yeah, yeah. But, but they were too scared. No, they were their their approach. Their approach now was just like, well, your livelihood's gonna be fucked if you don't do this. Well, but they made too many their jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Like it's. Yeah, they made too many mistakes. That's why it made people realize like what the fuck. It's not a federal mandate. Yeah. Okay. In all of Canada, to get vaccinated. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. But your work, they put it on people's jobs. Yeah. People's works, the corporations to enforce what they want. Yeah. Exactly. Their laws. Yeah. Because now it's an internal thing. Mm-hmm. It's a policy for your job. Yes. It's different. It's different. It's not. It's different. Yeah. yeah. So they went through fucking loopholes. Loopholes. Yeah. You don't have to get vaccinated. No, no try you don't have to though. do it. Try and work. But you can't yeah. work. You can't go on an airplane. Yeah. Holy Your kid can't fuck. play soccer. Yeah, that's But fun. it's okay. You don't have to get vaccinated. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. no? We're just going to take away your freedoms step by step. This is what we've been saying. Is it's funny what they do. They fucking, they fucking, they take an inch and they chill. They take an inch, then they chill. They'll even go back half an inch. They'll even go back a little bit, right? Because everyone everyone was saying, oh my God, January to March, the mandates are all going to be gone, bro. No more masks, nothing. I go, you guys have no idea what's coming. Everyone gets comfortable, relaxes. They take their step forward again. Why? Inch, they Didn't take anybody ever tell you that you're a conspiracy theorist? Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I give up now. It's not even about that. The, <laughs> the, the, conspiracies are, the conspiracies are just happening. So you fine. Sure, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Call me that if you want. <laughs> but they're playing out. So I seem to be calling them head, yeah, well, well, head for head. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, it's so blatant. Yeah. Like, in people's eyes. But you know what? Like, you can't just... Like, Dude. once like once somebody's far gone... Um, and that's with anything. You know, life in general. Like, even like... Uh, like, my head. Like, I'm far gone. Yeah. You're never going to change my point of view. <laughs> like my point of view yeah. is what it is. Yeah. You know, and the way I work in a kitchen, you'll never change the way I work in a kitchen. Yeah. The way that I do things. 
it, it, it is, I'm far gone. Yeah. Once you hit that level, you can never go back. And there's a lot of people that have hit that level. And they're like coming here. I seen a guy outside walking. Of course. Okay. Wearing a double mask. Double. And fucking gloves holding his phone. Yeah. Holding his phone. I could almost, I'm not even going to say <laughs> almost guarantee, but I could probably guarantee that that guy, if he receives a phone call, he's going to put that phone to his fucking ear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know your gloves. There's no touch consistency. Everything. There's you no get, consistency. You yeah. get yeah. bacteria on your yeah. gloves. You have your phone. You're not protecting yourself. Bro. Yeah. You're putting that phone back on your ear where the mask doesn't protect. And then you're not washing your ear when you go home. Maybe you wash your hands. Yeah. And then you're going to touch your ear after. And <laughs> no, then your you're going to touch your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> your hands dirty you're again, done. right? So it's like people don't break that down. And people don't, you know, see it. You know, I seen once, you know, somebody actually pretty smart at yeah. a grocery store had their fucking phone in a Ziploc bag. I don't know how they used what it. What does that mean, though? For Were what? they going in a pool? Like, no, they had it in their hands. Okay. Like the phone. Oh, was but then in, it was in a Ziploc. Yeah. Holy fuck. Fuck, bro. Pretty genius, but like, I don't know. Like, I never tried it. I should yeah, actually, yeah. now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I don't know. Like, can they use it? Yeah. Like, does it, does, does it, it all, recognize dude. it? I see But it like, all, like people, people are just far gone, right? Yeah. yeah and like, right. I, like, I don't feel bad for them. No, not, not for at this point. Thing, but like, I sympathize for them. Yeah. You know, because these were probably regular people yeah. that, you know, just are minded their citizens. own business. Yeah, good, good citizens, citizens follow paid the rules. their taxes, yeah. followed the rules. All the time. Yes. Never even probably fucking jaywalked. Yeah, true. Okay? Yeah. And you absolutely twisted their emotions. It's manipulation. They manipulated and, them, yeah. And put this fucking thing in their head. Now, whether you believe in the virus and the pandemic, whether you don't, whatever, we all believe that people get sick. Yeah. I'm not an expert, yeah. but I know that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah. yeah. How many people do you know died? How many people do you know were hospitalized? How many people that you know got it and said, "I just lost my taste for one day. Yeah, it was nothing. Yeah. yeah. People's livelihoods were basically taken away from them by a mere image of the flu. The flu was gone. The flu, it was gone. There's no numbers. Miraculously. I know. Masks saved the, the flu, flu. But they couldn't save COVID. But they couldn't save the coronavirus. I know. No, okay, I know. So, so let me ask you, when, when, when's the, what's the turning point? What's the turning point here? When do people fucking finally say enough is enough? Because we're about to head into another lockdown here. I, I, mean, I mean, I think it's already happened, to be very honest with you. We just, we just don't see it because those people that are fighting and are ready to do what they have to do, they're being censored. True. They're being censored big time. And the news isn't... Report. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a little story about the news, okay? Dude, yeah, the personal dude. story. Love the news. The Toronto Star. Oh, love them. Maybe about... Three weeks ago, a month ago, mm -hmm. they wrote an article about businesses in the Vaughn area that have been fined. What? Oh. Somehow, Porcello Cantina made that list of businesses in Vaughn that have been fined for mask violations. Yeah. This was a fucking reporter, the Toronto Star, yeah. over 20 fucking years. I never received one fucking fine. Yeah. What kind of fucking reporting Come are you doing? On. This is the first time I said anything, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I was going to wait till the new year to really call yeah. this That's out. That's what they're writing about, though? Like, really? Like, so, bla like, so, so a blatant lie. A blatant lie. lie. Yeah. I, I, I mean, we know that, but... I, I mean, can you sue them? I... Well, that's what I'm trying to understand. Yeah, like, you can sue them. You know, like, that's fucking that's defamation. Yeah. Defamation. Like, 100%. That's a straight right? lie. Yeah. Big time. And like, they, don't, they probably got a fund ready to pay you off. They don't give a shit. It's fucking yeah, yeah. bullshit, Let's bro. cash it in, man. You know? Like, let's cash it, baby. Let's it's, go. It's, 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 it's no, no. Gonna, that's, that's fucked up. That is yeah, so you can't fucked up, You can't do that. Man. That is so fucked it's up. You can't do fucked. that, bro. Yeah. And you're a 20-year journalist? No, I guess Where the fuck are you getting your information from? No, they don't care. You know, like that's like, like like that's pretty bad. But congrats on making it. But even a list, the topic, right? like the topic hey, itself. You know what? The way that I've always looked at it, any publicity <laughs> is good. Is good no, publicity. that's true. That's you true. show me people who who think like us. Let's say saw that or like I'm They're gonna like, go there. Yeah, <laughs> I like that guy. I like, yeah, that's exactly. my guy. You know? oh, he got a mask violation. Oh, yeah. fuck, cool. Yeah, 
You know, no, like, no, but that's fucked up. That's yo, fucked tell up. us like, about like, the violations and shit, like what you've been having to deal with. So I deal with a lot. Because you came uh, out and you said you're not all, you're not requiring anything for some, some from anyone. Like you can come in, same as always. Anyone listen, can come in. The only thing I require from people is to love us. Boom. To come in, respect, and have that. the exact love that we have for you. Yeah. Same love for us. Yeah. yeah. That's it. You know, we're gonna treat you whether you come into my place and you spend forty dollars, whether you come into my place spend four hundred, four grand. Mm. You're gonna get the same service. You're yeah. gonna get the same quality food. You're gonna get the same quality of everything. Yeah. I just want to work. Yeah. That's all I want to do. Yeah. I want to give you a service that I know how to do best. Yeah. I know how to be myself when I'm in my element, and when I'm in being myself. Fuck, man. I'm a pretty cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. not to toot my own horn, but like I could throw a good party. Yeah. yeah. And and that's what I've always looked at it as. Owning my own restaurant is, you know, like throwing a different house party every single fucking night. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah. Mind you, the last little bit, you know, like I've been a little miserable, not going to lie. You <laughs> yeah. know, so like I, haven't yeah, been, I, like I haven't been myself. Yeah. I haven't been doing as many rounds as I used to, mm -hmm. you know, because I just want to be by myself. I need to, I need to climb up right now. I yeah. need to think, I need to think right now. Mm -hmm. And hearing so many opinions from people that I really don't know, yeah, is 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 clouding my my brain right now. Yeah. So like I have to kind of, you know, step away from social media. I have to kind of step away from going to talk to people because it, it's it's becoming repetitive now yeah right and, and, and uh, they're, but but they're but they're coming on you for this too yeah like everything like yeah. good and bad yeah. right yeah. so like i've been i've been i've been kind of in like the shadows now especially during this time because we're really busy yeah and like i just don't want to deal with the noise yeah i always call it noise like white <laughs> yeah, noise it is noise. yeah it's just you know, noise like yeah. it's literally background static yeah and it's and it's it's fucking heart-wrenching man because yeah. i see it with everybody yeah you see it in people yeah i yeah. see it in you people. can tell yeah people are you know, struggling bro. i see when people walk in my door i have a clear view from the kitchen to the front door yeah i love that we, we we'll get jason to pop up there's a picture i remember we took of you like through the little you have the little the thing that you can see into the dining area yeah. the little square oh, yeah yeah sick um yeah so like i could see people like walk in and i could see them like defeated yeah and then, and then you see them when they're sitting down and their faces are completely fucking different Yeah, because they sit down and they're like, wow, like, yeah, wow. What are we doing? Is it 2019? Yeah. 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 Old yeah. times. You know, like, yeah. is this, is this, is this really happening right now? Am I, am I comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. I'm comfortable. Yeah. And, 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 and you see that yeah. in people's faces, but then I go out there and you know, right away, I, I remind them of a struggle. I remind them of a fight, whether it's, you know, uh, um, a relationship, uh, uh, a, a job, yeah. a, a kid going to play some sort of sport, yeah. you know, like maybe their kid plays AAA hockey and they're really fucking good and they're being forced to get this yeah. va vaccination. The quacks. And, and, and they really don't know if they want to give it to them. But now you're taking away this kid's opportunity for his livelihood. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck do you do? Yeah. So those struggles those are come yeah. back to people yeah. in their head. Yeah. And it's an automatic conversation. Yeah. And I don't want to have that conversation during Christmas. True. You know, I don't want people thinking. I don't want people thinking about the negative during this time yeah so i'm not gonna give that energy yeah i'm but not gonna just give turn that. on the tv i palo santo my place yeah bro. <laughs> let's go you i sage to. i sage my yeah, place you we like to, candles bro. in Blessings, my place bro. Yeah. we got stones everywhere in my place yeah 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 you know it's like good. it's good energy only, good energy bro. good yeah. energy only yeah that's it mm. i don't want that negative shit no because you know what you're and you're right man a lot of people who are uh a lot of people who have decided until this point to not partake in the experiment that's going on wow they are struggling they're struggling because they Absolutely. feel singled out and like like you're saying but they dude, feel even the people that have yeah taken it yeah now they're starting to feel it now too. They're, they're starting they're, to struggle i think yeah and 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 
please by 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 no means everybody is welcome at my place yeah vaccinated or not it doesn't matter yeah right like yeah. we don't say oh you're vaccinated get away from us <laughs> yeah yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah we're not those personal types choice. of people yeah, yeah. we're we're about personal choice yeah yeah you're an adult you can make your own choices mm -hmm. i support those yeah but just but, don't bother me about mine but you yeah. think but you think but you think even people that have decided to partake are now tripping out oh yeah for sure yeah right because now their freedoms are being taken away again right yeah, they're about with, to lose it with with another one yeah right? and then and then yeah. and then and then there's gonna be another one after yeah and where's the after. delta bro no i, I, I seen it in the, the sky delta. though yeah <laughs> it's like, dipping bro like, oh, they already come up with another one they didn't finish the last one bro i mean how you doing that, bro? Guys, this is this is this is all media control, right? No, I yeah. know, I know. Like, and 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 this is this is the sad part about things is that if people were to shut off their TV, that's it. That's all we have to do. Yeah, and go off social media. Yeah, and listen, we love social media. I love it. Love it. It's fucking fun. Love yeah. it. You know, if it's used properly, boom. The social best thing media ever. is amazing. Yeah. But when it's when when. When people take advantage of social media, mm. it gets dangerous. Yeah. And right now it's at a very it, it has been at a very dangerous point because yes. lots of people know lots of things about lots of different people. Yeah. And they're making their own conclusions and their minds are gone. Yeah. And it's a scary time they're lost, right now. They're lost in space, dude. It's scary. Yeah. It's scary. Like Jeez. people don't understand, like these Hollywood movies that have been made about the future. And, I know. You know, like all this shit. All little just this, hints, you know? It is. Yeah. That, like that shit has to be. During Where the they pandemic, get the idea from, bro? During the pandemic, I watched every single Marvel movie. Okay? <laughs> but I did it in sequence. Yeah. Wow. Dude, when I watched Endgame, I suggest to everybody out there, watch every single Marvel movie. Yeah in sequence it's amazing it is going to remind you of exactly what is happening today in the world it's literally the story of 2020 every single marvel movie it's wild come on and then there's endgame yeah which is the finish if you need dude i've seen I'm, endgame it's unreal I'm, movie's I'm, unreal no i gotta watch I'm, it bro. but you have to watch it in sequence yeah it makes it different and really understand it yeah really really others because it gives you the whole story line. so what is fucking thanos gonna come out of the sky and fuck us up well thanos is already here right when it mm. comes down to it Jeff Bezos? you know what i mean <laughs> this guy well, said Jeff Bezos. whoever the fuck it is <laughs> you know what i mean Jeff. like like whoever the fuck it is uh you know thanos is already here public health snapped their fingers half the people lost their jobs yeah it's true right no okay this is, this I, thought little, we this is, I thought everyone loved the frontline workers though <laughs> But I thought I thought that was it. But I love hey, them. You know what? Uh, I feel bad for them too. Me because too. They were, they were uh, the people that were in front of the people that were supposedly getting sick yeah. and getting sick. And unfortunately, for a lot of these people, they had to put on a show. Yeah. And they had to really go out of their comfort zones of who they were as people. And they were just thinking about their job, which obviously, you know, somebody's going to think of that. Understandable. You, yeah. like, like you can't fault somebody for thinking about their livelihood. 100%. You can't do that. No. Yeah. You don't know what people's situations are, what debt they're in. If a family member is sick and they have to buy medicine. Yeah. If their baby, if they just had a baby. You don't like, know. Like, yeah. like you don't know. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You don't know people's situations. Yeah. So you fuck with their income. You know what? People are going to be silent. Yeah. People are going to be quiet. We live in Canada. We're fucking nice people. Yeah. Obviously, you're going to take advantage, advantage of, of our that. fucking yeah. good nature. Exactly. And it's, and, and it's sad, right? And now people like us are the bad guys. Ooh. <laughs> like the big scary bad guys. Ooh. Really? I yeah, own yeah. a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck am I a bad guy? Yeah. yeah. I like I give you pleasure, you yeah, know, you like feed I, I, I like I feed people. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like you come to me for your special occasions. Yeah. Thirtieth birthday, baptism, bridal shower, baby shower. Yeah, you hear like, crazy you know, joy, straight joy, yeah, yeah. Whatever, weddings. Yeah. You know, what whatever it's the fuck the it is. It's all the I haven't labels. done a bar mitzvah yet, but no, we'll, we'll get to get you, know, you one. You know what? I really hope one day yeah. I do a bar mitzvah. That'd yeah. be fun. I'm reaching. <laughs> 
I would love it. You, you know, you know what I seen the other day, Dean. I don't know. You would, you would probably, if you, if you saw this, you, if this actually is true, you would know. They did a, they did a, um, an interview with uh, Zuckerberg. Okay. And he, He's fine, and he bro. basically said that the fact checkers are technically opinion. Yeah, like, I mean, they don't have like scientists working for Facebook. Like, just, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, like the, no. the Facebook fact checkers, Instagram fact checkers. It's he goes like, technically, it's opinion. But it's it, not fact because, yeah. like Dean's saying, they don't have actual doctors or scientists. They're not performing their own research, or they're taking the opinion of somebody else. Yeah, yeah, they're not. It's, it's not bullshit. facts. It's just There's all no bullshit. Facts. It's so, well, why don't we see who the biggest marketers are on those platforms are? The fucking people who make the drugs that they're trying to make us take. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, coincidence, bro. It's just yeah. a coincidence. Anyway. Well, yeah. Well, they, well, well, they, well, well, don't they sponsor like everything? Every, you know, like, you've seen like, that one. You've seen that one. All the news channels. Yeah. Like, every single news channel in the United States. It's like Minnesota K24 sponsored by Pfizer. New York State sponsored by Pfizer. CP24 sponsored by Pfizer. But it's funny, though, that there's the no MBH commercials podcast. on the TV, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> about it. Could you imagine? That? Right? There's no commercials about it on no, why would the television be? because it's they have to the disclose. States. It's only in the States. So US and I think it's New Zealand, it's the only two countries in the planet that you're allowed to advertise pharmaceutical drugs. So that's why like sometimes you watch American TV, you'll see, talk to your doctor about this thing that'll give you anal yeah. bleeding. And, wow. and, <laughs> Jesus and Christ, they, they're not allowed to do that anywhere else. Obviously, we get it with a bit of the American channels, but it's just a bizarre system they have in the States where because it's not like they don't have universal health care like here they can set whatever fucking price they want because your insurance will pay for it and you'll go broke paying for your insurance so yeah. they can set it <laughs> you know what i yeah, mean yeah, like they yeah. can set like a cancer drug 80 grand for this cancer treatment or whatever you go any other country it's the same treatment it's like five grand or something but it doesn't matter because the states is fine well yeah that's yeah. what another people like other people have to understand too is, yeah. is 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 what's coming to them next yeah these shots aren't always going to be free yeah oh They'll but be free to the end user, but you're paying through the nose with inflation yeah, taxes. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. day. All day. But I think... I know, but listen, when you get the number I'm six, what are you going to say, though? I'm like, number six. I'm conspiracy you theorist for this. <laughs> I'm going to get called a conspiracy theory for this, theorist for wow. even, like, suggesting this. But I'll still suggest the name. So it. it's what I do. Um, dude, I've been seeing, like, people have been sending me, like, compilations of, like, all these, like, athletes with, like, Dying on the pitch, dying on the basketball court. Um, famous soccer players, multiple ones, careers ending because of heart issues, so they don't want to risk it. Like, I don't know. See what's been happening during the World Cup. Been a, uh, that was the Euro. Say what you <laughs> guys say. Yeah. Well, 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 could it be a mean, plaques well, issue. Well, no. I mean, I think I would <laughs> if if I could say it, I would think it 100 percent is because they've proven one of the side effects is myocarditis, which is like the inflame your heart becomes inflamed, right? Mm -hmm. That's actually, that's that's from them. I didn't make that up. That's that's a real thing. And that's what they're saying is the most common thing. No, Dean? Absolutely. Ah, 13,000 children have already died from it. My, okay. I didn't know that, but yeah. that's that's even so, more crazy. But wow. so all, so the people it seems to be affecting are that's people are, are people who focus on um, uh, like cardio, like uh, soccer's all running, basketball's all running, football running. So any of those types of sports, they're seeing a lot of people if, uh, from like, the high school level all the way to professionals that are either dying, collapsing on the court and just staying alive, but career ending shit like that, man. And this is all out of, this is all started in the last, I'd say year since, since yeah, certain yeah, things sure. have become available to certain people. I mean, is it just a coincidence? Well, no, have now, we not seen it because we never paid attention to these things before? Were, were they not talked about before? I mean, let's play devil's advocate. Yeah. I don't know. Play it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Please. Like, I don't fucking know. Um, my opinion, once again, is my opinion. Yeah. I'm thinking about it one thing because what the f how many fucking coincidences can there be? So nah, I was having many. this conversation with a buddy yesterday and, and we were talking about this and he was saying the same thing. He goes, yeah, but you never know. You always have to keep an open mind, which I always agree with. I agree with that. And that's what sparks conversation, which I always say is the best thing. Conversation is the best thing in the world. But. I'm me personally at a point where I'm tired of calling certain things a coincidence when it comes to this topic. How many fucking coincidences does there need to be until we start saying, okay, let's start to create some correlation here. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I mean, that, and that's me personally. That's me personally. I'm at the point where I'm starting to say, I'm tired of calling things coincidences. I've let's, been tired, bro. Fuck that. You know what nothing, I mean? nothing, no more. 
<laughs> no more coincidences. What what one hundred percent? And and like I said, you guys know my stance on everything, yeah. right? And and I'm on this side of the fence, and yeah. you know, I'm I I think my choice is the right choice, yeah. right side and of history, exactly. Boom, right? And people's tipping points are gonna be. They're all different. They're depends on all different. It yeah. depends on how, right? how it affects their there's, life. There's no guideline. Yeah. Zero mm-hmm. guideline mm-hmm. of where 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 we're gonna end this. Yeah. Like we don't know. This might never end. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. What do you think about like, uh, we might just have to live with this? Nah, bro, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But we're gonna go into different communities. We have to figure yeah, exactly. You know, it's you gonna see Australia? branch off. You see Australia? What's happening there? Honestly, man, I haven't been paying attention bro, right now. They're they're on a crazy lockdown right now. Like you can't you can't if you're, I think it's unvaccinated, right? Just unvaccinated yeah. in their quarantine camps. <laughs> but quarantine they're, camps. they're putting videos on Twitter and shit. It's like people getting tickets for being on their porch in their camp without a mask. F- 500 bucks every time you're not wearing a mask. Bro, like. But like at that point. But what's Australia? What? They're not that's, a third world country. Yeah, but at that point, that's their fault, dude. Because no, they, I'm just saying because they let if, them do that to we're them. We're the same yeah. as Australia, though. But, but, but we're not yet. I'm and, just saying in terms we, of population, I think we, it's the same. Like the type of people. Oh, yeah, but. But you have to understand too. We don't have guns either. That's the problem. Oh. That's the problem. The problem isn't guns. Yeah, it is. The problem. <laughs> no, the problem isn't guns. The problem is nobody has any balls. That's the problem. Because you don't need guns. Your voice is just as fucking harsh as a gun. Until the other person has okay. a gun. No? We don't have to think of that. <laughs> yeah, that there. <laughs> okay, that okay. There, when, the... when that's going to happen yeah. is when everybody's had a tipping point and there's no uh, more internet. Yeah, yeah. There's no more running water. There, that that's when that's when that's going to happen. Okay. Right now, it's a battle of words. Yeah. It's a battle it's of a mind game emotions yeah. right now. It's a mind game. There's the more games. of us. There's more of us. Yeah. Then we, then, know. Then then we, we think. know. Yeah, then true. we think. Yeah, that we think, and that they're yeah. telling us too. Okay. Yeah. And that they're telling us. I know. There's so many more people out there. I'm telling you, and we're strong yeah. because our minds are strong. Yo, is there the a problem rally is Saturday? The, what? Is there a rally Saturday? I don't know. I can't Sorry. even keep up with the rally. I gotta go. I gotta go to one. I gotta see what the fuck's going see, on. See, like now. this is. See, this is the thing. Nobody. Everybody continues their life over here. Yeah. Doesn't stop it for, and me including. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather be at the restaurant making money than to go to a protest. Yeah. Yeah. Because really, I don't think that, and this is a wrong way of thinking, and a lot of people are are, are gonna hate on me for this, but I don't think right now is, it's gonna make any difference. And do, do do I want it to get to that point where it has to make a difference? No, I don't. Yeah, I've I've I've, I've been to a couple. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. great time. Yeah, amazing time being around. There was one I went to, dude. There was easy between seventy five thousand and a hundred thousand people. Wow, that's crazy. Easy. Where? Easy. It was uh, one, on? of the, one, 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 one of the big ones. Yeah, downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It was in the summer. Yeah, I actually yeah. shut down that day. Yeah. I shut down to go down yeah. to see what it was about. And, and you know what? It was amazing. The energy so everyone's like was minded, yeah. amazing. But then you have to think, okay, I have to run a business, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. like, unfortunately, yeah. I I have, I could do 25% now. I could do 50% right now, you know, whatever I'm doing. And I need that income right now. Yeah. You know, so I can't shut down. I did for the one day, but, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah, but then that's, that's kind of the point, right? Like, everyone's so stuck in their busy life that when the fuck is the voice going to do the job to make the difference? You well, that's why saying? I do what I do. Yeah. Because if I could contribute, this is how I'm going to contribute. Yeah. I can't contribute any other way. Yeah. Right. So if I have to take a little bit of a beating, yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a beating Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. this isn't for me now. This is for all of us. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't do the thing. I don't have my doors open right now because I want a headache. Yeah. I have my doors open right now because I want to stop what's going on and do my part and show people that you could live your fucking life yeah. normally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, be yeah. a human being. Yeah. Trust in yourself. Mm-hmm. 
people don't ask questions people don't have any balls right now and yeah. it's fucking sad yeah it's sad to see that they have taken literally everybody's free thought yeah. and twisted it in all kinds of fucking directions and made them really think that their opinion doesn't count yeah or that their opinion fucking counts more dude we had politicians going on the fucking television telling people to rat out their neighbors that's fun yeah are you fucking kidding yeah, me? yeah they're getting yeah. paid to do it in some yeah, place yeah, yeah. yeah. Got the commission like come on <laughs> that's who, the, fu who yeah. the fuck tells anybody to be a rat yeah of all things a rat the biggest fucking rats of them all the politician yeah yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. it's terrible yeah. you know like how do you i thought i thought i thought we're living in a in, in a society that you know where we're all supposed to love each other, no hate, yeah. no yeah. racism, do better. Yeah. do better, you know, no bullying, no yeah. bullying, dude. They, they fucking had campaigns in schools about bullying, internet bullying. It's at its all yeah, time yeah. highest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah they're yeah, creating yeah. it all. And they're creating it all. Yeah. Seriously? I know. It's the but labels, I'm the bad too. guy. It's the labels. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And that's it. Literally. Step by step. And, and step I, think, by step. I think also, though, in Canada, you know, there, 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 there is hope. Yeah. I truly believe it. Yeah. I truly believe that there is hope. I truly believe that there are people out there fighting the good fight. Yeah. That are fighting for everybody, whether they appreciate it, whether they know it whether they don't, whether they hate you for it. Mm -hmm. Because they'd rather be told what to do than to actually yeah. make up their <laughs> own mind yeah. and think for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, so true. So they, true. They, they might hate on some people. And listen, society is never going to be... Everyone agrees on one yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Ever yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Man, done. No, no. Done. Like, that's over and done with. And But like uh, you said, Canada, but Canada was never supposed to be that anyways. We didn't have to agree on everything. It was that we respected. We respected everything. Other, yeah, exactly. Now respected. nobody respects anybody. He has no respect. It's true. He no, has respect, no respect, man. It's more divided than ever. It's more divided than ever. And, and it's fucking sad. But at the end of the day, when we write the history books, which but side you look were you Dina. on the right side of history or were you on the wrong the side right of side history? You know what? what the fuck? Right I, side or wrong side, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Because you know what? <laughs> I stayed, my side, bro. I stayed my true, side. true to yourself, to myself. Yeah, it's true. throughout the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I never veered. Yeah, I never. Yes, yeah. my opinions publicly mm -hmm. changed. Yeah, but my actual opinion never changed. Yeah. So I don't give a fuck whether I was <laughs> right or wrong. I don't care because I provide a service to people. Yeah. And I provide a fucking fantastic service. So, and people love coming to my place. They do. And I love when they come to my place because they have a good time. Yeah. Yep. Respectfully too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, respectfully. Good music, good food, good servers, good, good people. Good vibes, bro. Good vibes, yeah. good drink. Yep. You know? Everyone just smiling in there all the time. Yeah. Everyone. People taking fucking videos. Yeah. Pictures. Like, it's crazy, dude. Like, I, I'm like, I don't even need lights. <laughs> just flashes. Back, yeah, back, yeah, back. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the food, fuck. the fucking. Dude, you know how many times I've seen the steak platter? A mm -hmm. hundred times every weekend, I see at least two, three steak platters <laughs> from Porchella. I go, oh, they have dinner. Yeah. All I see is the steak platter. I already know where they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know how you do okay. it, dude, with people trying to come say hi, and then you're at the ledge there trying to talk, dude, make up pizza. It's, it's, it's fucking, fucking wild. Yeah, like you've seen it. I've seen it, bro. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's fucking wild. And people don't understand the back end. Uh, no, no, it, they don't. They, what, unless what, they like, run a restaurant, they'll never know. They got no yeah, clue. Yeah. yeah. Dude. I know. So run, listen, any business is difficult. Of course. Yeah. Any. But a restaurant in particular right work now. In a yeah. Restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we have there's 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 some businesses that, you know, you you, you struggle emotionally. Yeah. There's some businesses that you struggle physically. Mm -hmm. Uh like a construction worker, yeah. you know, yeah, you're yeah. doing physical labor. Yeah. Dude, you don't have an easy job. Yeah. You break your back. Yeah. every single day you know like that's physically killing you i don't do that but i'm on my feet yeah, all true. day yeah it's bending fun. down yeah standing up picking up sacks of potatoes okay i'm not picking them up all, all the time but yeah, yeah you know to lug when when i go shopping to lug a bag of flour to make pizza 
you know, I'm still lugging that. No, stuff. You, you, you do a bit of everything. <laughs> like a restaurant struggles equally across like all of the, yeah, all yeah. Of the struggles. Like, I get all of it. Right. Yeah. And, and, and uh, it, it, you have to be a certain human being yeah. Yeah. True, to, true. to really be in this industry as a whole, whether you're a server, whether you're a chef, whether you're a restaurateur, whether you're uh, a dishwasher, yeah. whatever it is, mm -hmm. you're, you're just a different breed, you know? And uh, so, so, so I want to ask you now, mm -hmm. so, seeing as we kind of just broke down the way you make money throughout this whole thing, does money buy happiness? Um, I'm going to say no. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. You know, I think what buys happiness is staying true to yourself and just knowing who you are, understanding who you are, maybe understanding some sur sort of purpose that, that you have in life. Mm -hmm. um, but money buys you a lot of fucking things man <laughs> and it does buy you happiness yeah, yeah but it's 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 short-term happiness True. because those new shoes that you just bought in six months they're not going to be that new yeah that new car that you just bought six months it's going to depreciate mm -hmm. <laughs> but then you buy nothing. the new one no yeah. but then you buy the new one so yeah. you have to continuously <laughs> you have to keep buying the you new continuously one continuously like have to buy CD? and spend and do and 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 Listen, yeah. the sky's the limit for as much money as of you course. want. Yeah, yeah. You really don't need that yeah. to be true to yourself. True. You know, just fucking give her, work hard, yeah, and just fucking do what you do best, whatever that is. I thought you were going to finish that off with wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be for sure. Yeah, no, 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 no. I got some questions on the yeah, ground for you. Before we wrap it up, let's no, get some questions for you. Come on, bro. <laughs> what do we got here? Give it to us. Okay, I'm not going to ask that one. <laughs> this is like a personal one. Um, okay, we got one from the Sheeta Boss Bay. You know okay. who that is? I don't. Hmm. She's asking if you're seeing somebody. You don't have to answer. <laughs> no, okay, we got one for, on, from bro. our very own Alyssa Ritaka. Hey. Alyssa. She wants to know how he simply gives zero fucks about people's opinion. <laughs> That's what she wants to know. <laughs> Shout she out knows. Alyssa. <laughs> she knows. What She's, is it? Uh, what is it? Give it to us. What's the answer? You know what? You just got to be you. And yeah. I'm one of those guys that just don't give a fuck about people's opinions, especially when you're hiding behind. Uh, keyboard warriors. Uh, a, a keyboard. Yeah. You want to tell me your opinion straight to my face? I'm going to give you the time of day. Yeah, respect. And we're going to have yeah, actually a, respect an, you. an amazing conversation. Yeah. And we're going to walk out of that room as better people and better friends. Friends. Too. I was going to say friends. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and, and that's what people don't understand about me. Mm. Is that I'm not going to hold nothing against you. Yeah. My mind doesn't have space <laughs> to hold these opinions things and this, against uh, yeah. people yeah yeah you know um that that that's not what i'm about i have a business i have a good business mm -hmm. and i'm focused that's it so whether you like me or not i'm gonna continue on my path yeah so yeah, it's true good so answer you heard that no <laughs> all right let's see this one here Jolie Oots. Ah. Jolie Oots. <laughs> okay. He wants to know what's the most difficult dish to make and one dish that gives you the most anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe you Crazy asked, question. Asked that. So um so I love, I love, I love making our fucked up burger and our smash burger. I love making any sandwich okay. at the place. Um at the place at, at Porcello. <laughs> <laughs> at the place, bro. At the what's, 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 the, what's, the, what's the what's the burger? Like what does it entail? Um like the smash burger? Yeah. So the smash burger is just your like regular smash burger. Okay. But it's made by me. Okay. Yeah. And, like, and, and like that's why it's, it's, the, it's the best like, ever. It's made it's made with I, I fucking love you, bro. It's made it's with love. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's true. made with love. It's made with care. Like yes. I want you to fucking bite that burger yeah. and I want you to love it. Yes. Mm. I want you to love it, every but bite of it. Everything you make has homemade vibes. That's the thing. Because we make it. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no you know what I mean? Like, if, when I eat from a restaurant, I go, oh, like, okay, it's restaurant food. Because there's a difference. There's, there's like, the food your nonna would make, your mom would make, your, your family, your cuginos, whatever, and then there's restaurant food. Mm -hmm. But your food should technically be restaurant food, 
but it feels homemade. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know how to explain it. Like it's, it's because I have a small menu. Yeah. That, yeah. It's, it's because yeah. I have a small menu. Yeah. And... Um, Cause I make it, bro, and that's it. Like, you well, I said, I like, the fucking thing is like, the best. No, bro. but like I don't, I don't, like I operate different, man. Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. I run out of something, yeah, I run out of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna overdo things. I like, we don't prepare to have things left over so we could either freeze it. Yeah. Or throw it. No. Out. Yeah. That's probably the difference. The homemade was like fresh. Like you don't. It's all fresh. It's all creating fresh. fifty yeah. portions Bro. and freezing them for three days. This guy's got the mega yeah, exactly. potatoes, boy. He's bringing it around. <laughs> man. He just said. It. <laughs> no. Okay, one dish anxiety. You see it on the thing, and you're like, no, I don't. Fuck. I don't gotta do this. Which right one now. is it, bro? The fucking olive bombs. The oh, olive. Oh, everyone orders God. those, though. No. I fucking hate <laughs> olives. <laughs> Dude, you triple, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, what is I can't, it? I can't smell them. She orders them every every time she can. Yeah, I mean. she gets a chance. Come on, Anna. I can't. I can't smell them. Yeah. I can't. I can't touch them. Yeah. Uh, Why? I, what is happening? You know. So, so the the tale goes <laughs> that when my mother was pregnant with me, they counted some ridiculous amount of number of pits, like over a hundred pits okay. that she ate in in one seating. So basically, my mother fucking ate olives throughout the whole pregnancy. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I can't stand them. Oh, that's well, it's really? like one of those. It's one of those. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I don't okay. want to see those. them. I know those. I, when they're making them in the kitchen, no. I fucking tell them to get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them to move. That's I tell crazy. them to move. I tell them to move. But you do it I, for the people because they love them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In a month or two, it's off the menu. <laughs> you know what? After this conversation, the I just exact, realized I thanks, fucking Joe. Hate the fucking anxiety you just gave me talking about. Bro, you know now he's gonna go order olives? every all of you have, bro. And he's coming this weekend too. There you go. So no all of for you. <laughs> you got it, bro. Um, we got a question from Daniela. Um, where does his motivation come from? I mean, you might have answered that in between our convo, but like you know. So is this live though, right now. This is not live. Oh. <laughs> I know. Soon, bro. We're going to get bigger. That. We'll be live. <laughs> but Daniela, my motivation comes from just being true to myself and yeah. seeing people walk through my doors. If I didn't see people walking through my doors and enjoying themselves the way that they do, yeah. if I couldn't give the product that I give, then I wouldn't do it for anybody. But what motivates that motivation that I have in me to give the best possible product. You're just a giving guy. That's what it is. Yeah. That honestly, that's that, that, that's what we do. Yeah. We literally, we just give, I mean, we take two, obviously, like you pay your bills or whatever, but you know, like we go, over and above every single For everybody yeah. time yeah you know we may miss a few people here and there yeah, yeah. we're fucking human beings yeah but we go and we yeah. do it yeah i like that just giving her okay we got we got an easy one bro this is <laughs> from it. it's from our guy exit the matrix yeah i love him fucking love him pizza or pasta Pizza. Done. Wow. Quick. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Why? Because I make it. Because <laughs> I made it, bro. Because exactly. I make it. And never mind. I have a pretty good fucking pizza. Oh, your pizza's bomb, dude. Okay. It's fucking amazing. And, you know, a couple of years ago, I'm just going to give you guys a quick story. Yeah. You know, a couple of years ago, we did uh, a, a television show. Mm. Um, it was a television show that was aired in Italy. It's oh. called Little Big Italy. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was, like, really the first time, like... You know, real fucking production, like cameras everywhere, people following to the restaurant, you know, whatever. So we had a plan of, of you know, uh, what foods I was going to make, whatever. Dude, at the last fucking second, these motherfuckers asked me for a pizza. Mm. Dude, I had no pizza, though. Mm. Because we weren't supposed to do it. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was actually, I just made it that morning. But dude, pizza dough's got to sit yeah. for hours. Mm-hmm. Days, yeah. Like my pizza dough sits three years. days. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, like, like my pizza dough sits two to three days mm-hmm. before we actually serve it to somebody because yeah. it needs to proof. It needs time yeah. to rest. Yeah. It needs to get nice and airy, nice and fluffy for it to get you know that nice crust that we have on yeah. it. You know whatever. I serve this guy a pizza after two hours of it proofing. Yeah. So it wasn't the same. Mm-hmm. So I was explaining to that, like in in the show. Yeah, yeah. And 
they cut that whole part out. No. no. And only put that, I proofed my pizza for two hours. Oh. Oh, you must have got blasted. Dude. So only in Italy this aired. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was getting fucking hate mail from Italy. No, come on. Yeah. You didn't, you you don't didn't sit another you, hour. You don't know how to cook, what kind of color bread you took, kind of that, this and no. that. And yeah. you, know, you don't know how to make pizza. People fucking messaging me fucking um, new recipes on you know pizza no. dough and shit no like that. And I'm like, way. what the <laughs> fuck? That's the media, like, though. That's See? crazy. That's fucked. Pick and like, choose. I got handcuffed. I yeah, didn't yeah. know what to do. Yeah. I was explaining. Where I fucked up was because it wasn't live because that like that's why I asked you guys yeah. I had a flashback yeah you know is this like, live it was, yeah it was fucked up like I just had a, a fucking flashback this guy's reading questions and Did shit I'm like, I'm like what the fuck is going on <laughs> it did seem live there for a second <laughs> yeah, it did yeah. right so like like what I was thinking in my head was uh, now is fuck it wasn't live yeah I should have stopped him and said oh I don't have any pizza. Yeah, I can't do nothing. But yeah. you thought it was live. Mm. I did. I just wasn't fucking oh, thinking. So like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing a fucking television show it's that's true, not true. even going to be aired in Canada. It's all of Italy. Watching this Double the population. Show. Yeah. I gotta speak Italian. Yeah, they're gonna be you fucking know, looking gotta, at everything. I, I, I gotta cook. Hey. I gotta do all the. These fucking people are, 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 are gonna be. Cr- Critical as fuck. They're yeah, fucking yeah. Italian. Yeah, yeah, food, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's what Italians do of best. Course. They criticize, mm-hmm. whether it's good or bad. I got lots of love too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Lot more love than hate. A hundred percent. You know, my nonna was on the show. Oh, man. you know, that's so it was nice. nice yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, for her nice. to be. A, yeah. I got that memory with her now. You know, yeah, which is yeah. nice. Yeah. You know, uh, my my staff had a great experience. I had a great experience. We should have won. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we should have won. Been I, I, and 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 if I, I was supposed to do, wild boar parpadella. Mm. Okay, if I would have done the wild boar par- parpadella, I would have, hundred percent won. He asked me to do a baked stuffed tomato. A baked stuffed tomato. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. Stuff with what? With when fucking... the fuck have I ever made a baked stuffed tomato? I don't even know <laughs> who, who does the fuck that. I, who does, but you know what? I fucking did it. I yeah. had some beautiful heirloom, huge tomatoes, yeah, different yeah, yeah. colors. I fucking made a risotto. With the meat and shit. With, no, no, with no induya meat? and okay. satsitsa. Oh. Yeah, I went pure fucking calabres That's on nice. his ass. That's nice. With induya and fucking satsitsa, I made a risotto. I roasted the tomato. I carved it out. I roasted it. Yeah. Put it in the pizza oven so it got from the top down, yeah, like yeah, a nice yeah. roast color, whatever. Made the fucking risotto. Oh, stuffed no. that shit. Put pecorino now. cheese on mm. top. Oh. Put a little bit of fucking olive oil, some basil on top. Roasted it again, gave it to him. Bro, the guy was floored. He loved it. Yeah. I got a four out of five on that. And if five. you watch his show. Probably no fives, no? If you watch his show, okay, it's called Little Big Italy. Yeah. If you watch his show, he travels the whole world. He goes to Italian restaurants all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a competition between three in a large populated um, Italian cities yeah. all over the world. Um, and his favorite dish, he's very critical on everybody of, course. of what he wants he puts you on the spot I didn't know what he was going to ask me mm. so he put me on the spot on that one which was totally cool I love that um, but he destroys people mm. so for me to get a 4 out of 5 yeah. because I pleased him yeah, dude I had a good shot yeah, because yeah. that's the first fucking thing and I got to do wild boar parpadella that people love at my restaurant mm. and I'm doing a fucking Fiorentina steak even if I cook mm. it North American style, yeah. which is medium rare and not actual rare, yeah. like how it would like be bleeding. a Fiorentina, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? I'm going to get at least like a three or something. So I can pass that water. Of course. Um, like a three or something. Yeah. I'm going to get a three or four on the pasta. We're grooving. When they told me the pizza, You're done. my heart sunk. <laughs> no. I'm like these fucking bad. But I should have. I fucked up. Yeah. So how did you have to win to get a, like a combination of? The yeah. Best? So like everybody votes. Like they vote on whatever. It was three restaurants. I, I uh, Soto Soto. 
Oh, shit. Uh, You're up there with the big boys, eh? And uh, You're hanging with the big boys. Somebody else. Oh, uh, fuck. I, 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 I forgot the other restaurant. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It was a uh, restaurant on Young. Yeah, yeah. On, on Young Street. Uh, like Uptown. Okay. Uptown Young. But yeah, great experience. And uh, I forget where I was going oh, with that. Oh, it was that. a pizza yeah. story. It was oh, the it was pizza yeah, story. Pizza yeah, story. yeah, yeah. But we have mint there? fucking oh, yeah. pizza. Let me check. Get, let's get one more in here before we before we sign off. Let's go. Oh, Come look, on. Luca DeMontis. <laughs> no, he just says, let's go. Oh, let's go, bro. Um, hmm. What was that last one there? What was the last one there? Which one? The last one all the way. No, no, other, other way, other way. There you go. Dev? Yeah. Dev Lathayan. Legend. Lo- fucking legend. We need a secret weapon for the best homemade pasta. Love. Wow. Patience. Boom. That's it. That's that, it. That's all it is. <laughs> those two things. Dev. Love. Dev, love. Don't try too hard, Patience, bro. Patience, Bello. There's those two things, bro. That's it. Yeah. You um, know? Joe Liutz wants to know, you know, another one. If you wash your hands before cooking, but we all know how that works. <laughs> right, Listen, right, before we sign off, what's the famous saying, bro? So uh, I'll do my spiels. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, actually, I was gonna do this at the end, but now that Beautiful. you guys put me on the spot, Beautiful. you know, um, you know, uh, I give my spiels. I, I talk my opinions. Yeah. And then I just remind everybody that yes. if we all want to keep this city <laughs> and this country. <laughs> safe from yeah. all wrongdoings <laughs> there's only one thing that we all have to remember to do throughout the day what is it bro what is it wash your hands <laughs> let's go let's go let's Lama, go what a pleasure eh thanks guys thank you so much and I love that you just called me Lama you like that, that, that eh my great. fucking guy Dude, thanks. My thank fucking you so much bro. for everything bro guys, it's been you. a pleasure it was fucking keep awesome keep up the fucking good fight Thank you. Yeah, you, you know, you know, we're you behind you on well. everything. Um, we need more people like you. Thank Straight you. Up. We I do. appreciate that. And with that being said, Dean, we're out. Mm-hmm.